And I took about 24 pounds out of each door. That weighs about six ounces. Tire and wheel combination is like 12 pounds lighter. The control circuit panel was like 50 pounds alone. This is where the Porsche headlights used to pop up. But of course that was just under, that was another 38 pounds. My wife says you're just, you're just, how you say, um, possessed or... <laughs>I'm here with Jeff McCabe with the Porsche Electric. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? I'm doing good. Tell us why you decided you wanted to convert this Porsche into an electric vehicle. You can have both an electric car and a high-performance car, which Tesla has proved in the last several years. Um, but of course, I'm not. I don't want to have $125,000 for a Tesla. Yeah. So I figured I can make one of my make one for myself for a quarter or a fraction of that. And what is in it now? So you said it's a lithium-ion battery now that you upgraded right. to. Right. Yeah, it's got a, a lithium-ion phosphate is the chemistry. It's lithium. It's a real stable form of lithium batteries. It's got a 25 kilowatt storage. What that means is um, instead of my lead pack, I, I could only just charge it about 50% of the capacity of the pack, and that was only good for about 40, 45 miles. Okay. Whereas I can discharge this thing, even though it's a slightly bigger pack, but I can go 115, 120 miles. When you carry your, when your fuel source weighs 1,300 pounds, you have to look at ways to get rid of weight you don't need. I pulled over 1,700 pounds out of this thing wow. before I started putting weight back in. That's yeah. because I had a V8 engine. I had a, a five-speed gearbox that I, I took all but second and third gear out of. Uh, lighter wheels, lighter brakes. Internally, it's all the wind. All the glass is no longer. It's plastic. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, and um, and just gutted the car made it's more of a race car type conversion my wife says you're just you're just how you say um possessed or <laughs> or about uh, you, you know you're like it, i have to lose 20 pounds yeah I'm gonna drive I gotta, the car. I lose, <laughs> she she my wife bought me this uh license plate holder for christmas and she actually knew how obsessive i was about adding weight to the car because it's weight equals take weight out of its performance because i know if if it's going to you add too much weight to the car, you don't have to, you can put it on your desk at work or something. The, the way that the system's configured of um, um, a 750 individual cells that I have run in parallel and in series to get the current and then the, the voltage. Yeah. It's a 160 volt drive system um, for the car and it's capable of pooling, um, with my current controller, I can pull 1200 amps on the battery side. Um, so it's quite quite stout. And these are the fans to keep it cool? Yeah, that's mainly just for a little airflow. Um, uh, it's not, it's just underneath each of these channels, there's holes drilled. So that pressurizes the box mm -hmm. and just gets airflow over the bus bars and keeps the batteries cool. Is because, it, it, and because they're in two sections too, is that why it keeps I have, it down? Yeah, it's basically there's two boxes up front here, uh, uh, upper and the lower. And on the rear, um, where, the, where the gas tank and spare tire went, there's a third box. Oh, okay. So it's oh, mainly... it's throughout. It's oh, throughout. Wow. It's to keep the balance of the car um, so you don't put everything in front and have it nose heavy and then not handle very well. So, Jeff, how fast does it go? Well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> uh, it only does 85 miles an hour. And okay. people with performance cars kind of, you know, like, well, why only 85? Well, because I only left second and third gears in the gearbox. Oh, okay. That's 22 pounds of weight, of gear weight, I took out. Um, so what it does is um, around town, I, I leave it in second gear. That's good for zero to 50 miles an hour. When I go into a freeway, I just shift it into third, and that's good to 85. Um, it would do 120, 130 plus, just like the 928, if I left fourth and fifth gear in it. But to me, it was all about performance getting the, getting the weight out what kind of looks do you get from people when you're driving around um a lot of the younger kids just laugh because they don't they don't, they're not they they, they, they see it. the paint job oh they don't know they don't know how much amazing work is and, done under their hood of it and they'll usually keep laughing unless until i like uh, if i leave the stoplight and if i'm in an obnoxious mood i'll run away from them and they don't hear anything when i did that except maybe <laughs> wheel spin yeah and then they get to the next light then they look puzzled like <laughs> what was that it's funny. It's it's a hobby. It's uh, you know it's it's my everyday driver. So it's just something I really really enjoy. Yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Well, thank you. It, uh, you can tell even down to all the different detail. Like you spent thousands and thousands of hours on it. Well, luckily not that much because my wife would have divorced me. <laughs>